hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to add a folder structure or directory structure which is present in your computer in your tree view so when I click this button it gives me the folder which I want to show so I have in my computer this html.css folder so this folder I wanted to show in my tree view so I have created this program to show the directory structure of my folder in my tree view okay in this video I will show you how to open selected files for example you want to open this uh, avi file or you want to open png file or any other file whatever file which is present in your folder you will be able to open by this uh, code which I am going to show you so let's get started first I will take a button and drag and drop here and I will change its text from here so I will name it as open selected file okay so this I have done and I will double click this and in here I will write my code so if you uh, are following this video in the last video I have shown you this code in which I am showing the directory structure and I made this function called last list directory and I'm passing my tree view name and the path of the file which I want to show okay or the path of the folder which I wanted to show so this path what I will do is I will make a global variable so you can make it at the top of your program wherever you want to make I'm just making this at the top of my function so it will be visible so just above this button action perform where you call this function list directory this is I have shown you in the last video so just above that declare a string variable called path and is equal to just copy the path which you were passing inside this directory structure okay and paste it here and close and just copy this path variable and paste it here why I have done this because I wanted to make this path variable global so I can use this path variable inside this selected open selected file button action perform also so here also I should be able to access the selected path that's why I have used this uh, global variable so this path will be global and it is seen by all the functions so do that and then I will delete this part but I will use it and in here what I will do is I will declare a string variable so I will write string tree node uh, name so the variable name is tree node name is equal to my tree view name so my tree view name is tree view one dot selected node dot to string and close this bracket and close this so I have declared a string variable which will take the selected node name okay so I have done this 
now i will declare one more variable or in this variable also i can do that so just after this two string you can write dot replace and in here i will replace something so first of all before replacing this i wanted to show what i want to replace so i wanted to show get the tree view name so for example i will write a message box to show it dot show and in here i will pass my this tree view name which i declared okay and when i run the program and when i show this directory structure i select a file and i click this open selected file it gives me tree node colon the name of my file but i just want this file name only the box model css dot avi i don't want this tree node colon in my code so that's why i want to replace it with original name instead of this tree node so what i will do here is i will delete this first this is was just for showing you and i will write here replace and in the bracket i will pass that tree view so write tree tree node like this and then the semicolon also colon also i wanted to replace and then uh, the space also so tree node colon and one space and what i want to replace it with i want to replace it with empty string so write string dot empty okay so i have written this code i have declared a string variable and then i is equal to tree view name dot selected node dot two string dot replace and i'm replacing the node string node colon and space with empty now what i will do is i will write system dot diagnostics dot process dot start and inside this what i will do is i will pass my path variable which i have declared here which take the path of my folder so copy this path variable and paste it here and then write plus and then give these two double quotes and write this slash sign okay and after this slash sign i will pass the name of my file so it will take the folder name and after that it will give a slash and then it will give the name of my file which i selected okay so let's show it in the message box also message box dot show bracket and bracket closed and i will just copy this all to show the path of the file i selected and so i have written these three lines of code to open my file so let's run the program and first of all i will show the folder which i wanted to show this is the show folder now what i will do is i will take this file for example i want to show open this html part 2 avi i will select it and i will click open so first of all it shows me the path it is the same path which i wanted to open and i will click okay and it opens the file okay now for example i want to open some other file 
for example this png file i select it and click open it shows me the message in the path and it opens the file okay in this way you can open the selected file in your selected folder in the tree view i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now